And just like that, uh, the devil is not threatening them at all. They haven't seen black and white through the daytime, so it clouds their vision even more. And plus, my one of my first jobs when I get to take a in the morning is to pick up food. So I, I smell like a devil. So I just sort of, they think I'm a big devil that way, and everyone's a bit more relaxed. Uh, devil's a carrion eaters. Carrion is dead animals, and that makes up the majority of their diet. They do hunt, though. When they hunt, they'll hunt small mammals, small birds, they'll eat frogs, they'll eat lizards, they'll eat snakes, they'll eat kelp maggots, they'll eat insects, they'll eat some plant material. I've even been known to steal some of the fuzzy eaters whatsoever. a little bit of redneck wallaby meat, which has fur intact. It doesn't look all that pretty, guys, so if you're a bit sensitive, I'll give you a heads up. Males are larger than females. All these guys are of the same age. But, uh, these are the two males here, and all the females are next to them. So the females are. Uh, what are you feeding them? Silky's a bit cleverer than me. He uh, bites my fingers, so I dropped the meat. <laughs> Doesn't do it that hard. He just bites it hard enough to let me know that he's smarter than me. That's about it. They have four little fingers and a thumb, just like us. And I'll use that just to, to uh, claw, claw little pieces of meat, meat off the, off the uh, whatever they're eating. Favourite food's wombat. We don't feed them wombat. No. Got it. You got it. <laughs> so every devil has a different set of stripes and like fingerprints so every single devil actually has their own little set and that's how we tell our devils apart at the zoo. <laughs> you sniff my bum man. Eh? <laughs> how old are they? You're gonna take something vital. <laughs> uh, how old are they? They're all around two years old these guys. They live for about five to six years. In, in the wild, in captivity they live for six to seven so they, they live a little bit longer. They've run this first. Those little ones, they're going to grow a bit, yeah? Yeah, these guys are all teenagers here, so they've still got a little bit of growing to do. Yeah, they're not too bad. If, uh, they used to, um, different, different, every animal has their own little personality, just like human beings. If I try and pick Big Sookie up there, he, he doesn't like me too much, so he'd, he'd, uh, he'd, he'd tell me in no short order. Yeah, when mum gives birth, she gives birth to 20 to 30 little rice-sized babies. Only four teeth, so the strongest four. You've been quiet. Tasmania Zoo, we're a privately funded organisation. That's uh, one of our quarantine breeding facilities over the back. We've named it Devil's Heaven. We have 600 hectares here. So we've got two more uh, breeding facilities just like that at the, at the zoo. And we're breeding as many 